Hi. Uh, it is July 2015 and uh, I am in day three of writing the new book. Um, it's I've been really slow to start it, so I'm working really hard now to catch up. Uh, I should have started round about January and lots of things happened. We were really blessed with the birth of my grandson and so I was really, really busy helping my daughter with the new baby for most of January and then I don't know what happened February and then I was going to uh, start actually a different novel so I did a lot of research for that and uh, that didn't happen so and now I'm starting work on Margaret uh, Tudor the princess who goes to Scotland I'm amazed how quickly I'm writing the story's fantastic but it's also there's quite a there's enough research about her so I know what happens in her life and not so much that in a sense our image of her is fixed so she's really one of the best sort of characters to tackle that you've got this richness and and also this strangeness um i'm writing i have to write quickly this one but i'm writing faster than i've written for years and i'm really really enjoying it and it's giving me a sort of a a zest and an energy so this morning I started work at about four o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep and I'd done a couple of thousand words before I had breakfast so I'm whizzing uh, and I know that next week I go on holiday with my family and I'll probably screech to a stop and then start again after the holiday but it's going well it's going really really well I'm in the car parked up. I'm, I'm making quite a long journey. A lot of I do quite a lot of travel because my family is different parts of the country and I live in the north of England and of course most of my work regards publishing and television and film, all the meetings are in London. So I'm often away from home and I'm often travelling and this is one of those days. Uh, it's quite a hard week this week for me because I'm in the early stages of writing and it's a time when I like to get several thousands of words done every day. Uh, yesterday I did 4,000, the day before I did about the same and in a way when I'm tackling a big long story like this, part of it is just getting the story down. Once it's written, I'm going to know what it's actually about. Obviously the subject is Margaret, but what it the story is going to mean, how it's going to feel, whether it's a story of triumph or disaster or something between the two or something else altogether, I won't really know until I know how the novel is going to shape the history. So what I'm doing at the moment is in a sense writing, fictionalising, putting narrative in, putting dialogue in, putting characters in, getting a sense of the people, writing the material. Uh, and then uh, while I'm doing that, I'm thinking all the time, well, what, what does this mean? Why is it interesting? Why am I going to care about it? How am I going to make the reader care about it? And that'll be because it's at the end of it, it'll be a novel about something, not just a history about the life. I'm in my study. Uh, it's a really grey, miserable autumn day. It's the first few days in September and uh, I really think I know what the novel's going to be about. I've been, as you know, here and there with it, but I've just finished the first of 100,000 words, so I know I'm two-thirds of the way through and I know that it's going to be about sibling rivalry. It's going to be about Margaret, her relationship with Catherine, her relationship with Mary, her desire to be in that circle of indulged, privileged queens and her knowledge that she has a kingdom that is almost impossible to rule. This is my desk today and it gives you some idea of how rather horribly stuck I am. Uh, it's 1522 in my uh, narrative thread and I am in trouble. Uh, I, the timelines are there so that I can get myself to 1536. That's where we're going. That is where we're going. 
I know you're going to think me incapable of uh, quiet satisfaction, but now I have discovered what the novel is about, and that matters so much, I'm now finding myself overwhelmed by event. It happens that uh, the middle of Margaret's life is very filled with event. For instance, in one year, there's like three kidnap attempts and a battle. So I've got a lot of event when really what I'm wanting to be writing about is the psychological significance of this. So there's always a balance between what's happening and what it means. But I feel like I've been stuck in 1525 forever and the novel doesn't finish till 1536. So I've got 11 years to get through and I want to get through them as the Duke of Wellington said about war. I want to get through over this ground as likely as possible. Uh, I'm sure it'll come out all right. It's just today I feel like I've got a lot going on.